Hey everyone, welcome back to All About AI Tech, the channel where we break down the latest and greatest in the world of artificial intelligence. Now, if you're even remotely interested in AI, you've heard of OpenAI and their game-changing language model, ChatGPT, but have you heard the rumors? Word on the street is OpenAI might be facing a financial crisis, with some even speculating bankruptcy. Don't hit that unsubscribe button just yet, because today, we're unpacking those rumors, exploring OpenAI's financial situation, and diving deep into SearchGPT, their ambitious attempt to take on Google in the search engine arena. This is going to be a wild ride, so buckle up, smash that like button, and let's get right into it. So let's address the elephant in the room. Is OpenAI actually going broke? Recent reports from the information paint a pretty concerning picture. Their analysis suggests that OpenAI is burning through cash at an alarming rate, with projected expenses exceeding $8 billion this year alone. We're talking $7 billion just on AI training and another $1.5 billion on staff salaries. That's a whole lot of zeros. To put this into perspective, it reportedly costs around $700,000 per day to keep ChatGPT up and running. Think about the electricity bill on that thing. Now, while their revenue from ChatGPT subscriptions and other services is nothing to sneeze at, estimated to be between $3.5 billion to $4.5 billion, it still leaves them potentially $5 billion in the red. Now, you might be thinking, didn't Microsoft just pour billions into OpenAI? You're absolutely right. Microsoft has been on a bit of an AI spending spree, investing a whopping $13 billion in OpenAI, a company they clearly see as a game changer. But here's the catch, a big chunk of that investment isn't cold, hard cash. It's primarily in the form of access to Microsoft's Azure cloud computing platform, albeit at a heavily discounted rate. It's no secret that training these large language models requires an astronomical amount of processing power, and those servers don't run on good vibes and unicorn tiers. While access to Azure certainly offsets some costs, it doesn't completely solve OpenAI's cash flow problem. Let's not forget that OpenAI isn't playing in an empty sandbox. The AI field is exploding, with heavy hitters like Google, Meta, and Amazon all vying for a piece of the AI pie. Google, in particular, has been aggressively integrating AI into its services, including its cash cow, Google Search. Meta has thrown its hat into the ring with Llama 2, its open-source large language model, directly challenging OpenAI's grip on the market. This increased competition means that OpenAI has to spend even more on research and development, marketing, and attracting top talent, just to stay ahead of the curve. It's a high-stakes game, and right now, it seems like OpenAI is betting big on the future. Let's talk about OpenAI's latest gambit, SearchGPT. Now, if you've ever used ChatGPT, you know it's great for summarizing information, having a laugh with its creative writing skills, or even generating code. But let's be honest, you wouldn't use it to find tonight's football scores or research the history of the Roman Empire. It's just not a search engine. However, SearchGPT aims to change that. OpenAI is hoping to combine the power of their large language models with real-time information from the web. Imagine asking SearchGPT, what's the best Italian restaurant near me? And instead of a list of links, you get a concise answer with images, reviews, and even the ability to book a table right then and there. That's the vision, a seamless blend of search and AI-powered assistance. But let's not kid ourselves, SearchGPT is a direct shot at Google's core business, Search. It's no coincidence that OpenAI chose to use the word search in the name, making it abundantly clear who they're gunning for. Google controls a ridiculous 90% of the search market, and their ad revenue makes OpenAI's earnings look like pocket change. So why pick a fight with a giant? Well, for one, disrupting Google's dominance could be incredibly lucrative. If SearchGPT takes off and manages to peel away even a tiny fraction of Google's user base, that's still a massive number of users. Second, OpenAI sees conversational AI as the future of how we interact with information. They're betting that in a few years' time, we'll be talking to our search engines, not typing into them, and SearchGPT is their way of getting a head start. So what makes SearchGPT different from what we're already using? Well, SearchGPT promises to deliver more accurate, concise, and up-to-date information compared to traditional search engines. It aims to understand the intent behind your search queries, not just keywords. For example, if you search for best laptops for gaming, SearchGPT will take into account your budget, 
preferred specs, and even factor in reviews and comparisons to provide you with a curated list of options that are actually relevant to your needs. It goes beyond just links, offering summarized answers, source citations, and even visual elements like images and videos to make the search experience more engaging and informative. It's like having a personal research assistant, instantly compiling and presenting the most pertinent information from the vastness of the internet. One of the biggest criticisms leveled at large language models, and ChatGPT in particular, is their tendency to make stuff up. These AI hallucinations, as they're called, are a real problem when you're trying to get accurate information. To combat this, OpenAI is placing a major emphasis on source citation with SearchGPT. They understand that users need to be able to verify the information they're getting, which is why SearchGPT will prominently display links to the websites and articles from which it's drawing its answers. This focus on transparency and attribution is crucial for building trust with users and differentiating SearchGPT as a reliable source of information. It's about providing clarity and giving users the confidence to delve deeper into the information presented. Now, let's talk about accessibility. OpenAI understands that for SearchGPT to be truly successful, it needs to be available on every device imaginable. So, whether you're on your laptop, they're developing mobile apps, browser extensions, and seamless integration with existing platforms to ensure that users can access this new search experience wherever they are, whenever they need it. The launch of SearchGPT marks a pivotal moment in the evolution of how we search for and interact with information online. It's still early days, and there are many challenges ahead for OpenAI. But one thing is certain, the competition between OpenAI and Google is heating up, and we, the users, are the ultimate beneficiaries. Imagine a future where search engines can understand our needs, provide us with personalized and verified information, and help us navigate the digital world with unprecedented ease and efficiency. That's the future OpenAI is striving for with SearchGPT. So what do you guys think? Is OpenAI biting off more than it can chew by challenging Google? Will SearchGPT revolutionize how we search the web? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more AI breakdowns, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.